Hi friends, today we are going to see uh, how a differential length, differential volume and differential area has been, has been decided in a given coordinate system. So to start up, we will always start with an easy coordinate system which is nothing but the uh, rectangular or Cartesian coordinate system. So I have a Cartesian coordinate system and in Cartesian coordinate system, I wanted to find my differential length, differential length, then differential area and differential volume. Now, first of all, what do you mean by differential length, differential area and differential volume? Many times it happens that I wanted to uh, find a path length uh, let's say I'm, I'm traversing from point A to point B and the traversing is not very linear like for example this is my point A and this is my point B and the path is somewhere curvilinear like this okay so if I ask you how much distance have you traveled from path A to path B it is really difficult to measure why because I have lots and lots of curves in between what I do is I will observe or I will divide the path into very small regions okay I will I will divide the path into very small regions the division will be such that the movement along that small element is always linear okay so if I have the small distance I, ca I take care that the small distance is selected such that the, the, the path cover in that distance is very 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 uh, linear okay in the straight so even if I consider a small element over here in this point it will also be linear then I consider the next point it will it will always be linear then what I can do is I can divide the whole path into such smaller elements and then we can add them together okay because this line is continuous I will add them in terms of or I can call that addition as integration if this would be points then I would have said that I would have added the points or made a summation okay so this is a differential length DL okay now DL is vector because we are in the coordinate systems okay so DL will be a vector now same concept applies to area also if a given patch of area which is very irregular in shape then what I will do is I will take a smaller shape okay and such that the area of that shape is more or less linear there are no abruptness in that area and then I will integrate the whole of the given complete span similar stands for the volume if volume is not regular enough then I will I can do the same thing for the volume so this is called as a differential or a small elemental length then I will have elemental area and I can also have an elemental volume. So elemental or differential area is used in integration. Now with respect to coordinate system, this is going to change. For example, let us take the first coordinate system, which is Cartesian coordinate system. So in Cartesian coordinate system, let's say I have a uh, this as my x-axis this as my y-axis and this as my z-axis right so let's say I have a point P over here somewhere point P which is which is going likewise okay uh, these are y units these are x units and this is z units so this I can call it as y this is x and this is my z okay now in this uh, coordinate system I can go along to let's say a new point let's say Q okay then this is the distance which I traverse isn't it so that distance from P to Q is so, so small which I call it as DL and it is linear then at this point also if I jot it down downwards likewise then I have a new x, a new I could, x dash, a new y dash, and a new z dash. Right? So 
in the space when I traverse, you cannot just say that I traverse two kilometers. If you say two kilometers, it will be really a vague, uh, it will be a very vague information because I don't know two kilometers in which direction. You can see that two kilometers in this direction I have to say. So when I say a differential element, it is a length actually of a line, but in particular direction. That's why it is a vector. So when I say this is my DL bar, okay, so what will be my DL bar? DL bar will be equal to Okay, I, when I write my DL bar, DL bar will have three components. Now, it will be the small change in x from dx to dy, that is this much, which we call as dx in the x direction. This much change in dy, okay, and uh, for z, uh, this much change in z. Agreed. So I can now say that point P to Q where I walked, I change dx distance, uh, dx units in x direction, dy units in y direction, and dz units in z direction. So the total dl bar will be equal to dx units in the x direction plus dy units in the y direction plus dz units in the z direction okay so this is the unit length or the differential length equation of a cartesian coordinate system okay you can plot this line down it will also also be from this point to this point but that will not be exactly correct okay because z is also associated yeah it is just a projection of this line on the xy plane how it will look like on the xy plane the shadow okay then this is all about uh, differential length if i wanted to go for differential volume then what i will again consider is uh, or differential area let us consider differential area then if i have again uh, this is my z axis sorry this is my y axis this is my x axis and if i have a point p okay or an area then area will be going in the uh, in uh, let's say this area is in uh, which plane this area is in yz plane I can also have an area going in uh, xz plane and I can also have a area going in uh, yz plane okay so the three areas will be like this if I am like this then it is uh, I'm moving in uh, sorry x uh, so this is y this is x plane and z is constant if i will have a plane going in this way then i will have a uh, in this is x and height is z y is constant and the third plane that i will have is like this in which uh, i have y and the height is z and x is constant right so if i have from this point uh, if i move in this direction till this point this is my d uh, i'm staying in the x y plane so this is dy okay and the height will be dz okay if i am on this side then it is uh, again dz and this side it is dx okay and above it will be uh, dx and dy so in this x y plane i will have this as my dx this is my my dy this is dz this is dx this is dy and this is dz okay so i can have uh, uh, three surfaces okay uh, one surface we called it as ds1 which is uh, dx dy then we have second surfaces ds2 which is nothing but uh, uh, dy dz and the third surface ds3 is nothing but dx dz okay so we have three surfaces dx1 uh, ds1 ds2 and ds3 uh, this is nothing but a length into breadth like a triangle or it's like a rect uh, sorry like a rectangle it is a uh, length into breadth so the length and breadth is dx dy uh, dy dz and dx uh, dz now we normally uh, denote uh, areas also vectorally so this is ds1 bar ds2 bar and ds3 bar and how they are vector r 
if i consider dx dy then the unit vector will be normal to both which is da x a z here it will be a y and here it will be a uh, here it will be a x and here it will be a y cap so we have uh, this is a concept basically uh, coming from uh, like uh, you can consider an umbrella uh, an umbrella can be the area of the umbrella the, the, the cloth side which is the area of the umbrella can be moved easily uh, with the with the stick that is been hold in your hands okay so we can actually move the stick and the whole area will move okay so if I consider an umbrella so the umbrella will have its own whole area covered like this and then we have a stick which is exactly perpendicularly uh, onto that uh, um, area so if i move the stick from left or right the the whole area will move okay so if i wanted to move this area completely then i want a unit vector or uh, a vector which is normal which is incidental normal to the plane okay so it makes an angle of 90 degree with the plane and which is moving outwards here or there okay so if it is dy dz then the unit normal to x and uh, y z and y axis is x axis isn't it if it is uh, z and x then the unit normal vector will be a y bar and if it is x and y then of course it will be a z bar so unit normal of an area can be positive or can be negative okay uh, for an open areas and not for the closed area i'm saying so this is uh, how we uh, denote a uh, uh, area in a uh, differential form the third and the last one is about to be originated from here itself if you enclose all the areas there will be a differential volume volume and the differential volume will be dv which is length into breadth into height so dy dx dz so if i consider a point p in a coordinate system then i can have uh, this way dy then this way dx and then above i can have dz then if i uh, join this parallel lines then it will form an easily a complete volume of a uh, of a, or, a, or a rectangular volume okay so it will form a complete rectangular volume uh, uh, so this 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 actually dx is the length this is dy is the breadth and the height is dz so the dv differential volume is dx dy dz which is a scalar which is not a vector so length is vector area is vector but volume is scalar so this is how uh, a differential length or uh, a differential uh, area and a differential volume of a cartesian coordinate system looks like thank you